hey guys welcome back again so from this video onwards we'll be doing a mini series on web sockets so before talking about web sockets let's see that what you are going to build by the end of the series so here as you can see on your screens that here we have two chat windows open and that's what we are going to build in this series that is a it is a group chat application and currently we see that dr banner windows is open and natasha's windows is open and if you want to send a message from dr banner to natasha then he can simply type in his uh, input uh, input field here so he can say hey natasha and we get a feedback on the natasha window or the black widow window that is dr banner is typing and as soon as uh, dr banner presses enter then the feedback is gone and natasha receives the message and therefore similarly natasha could also send a message to her that is dr banner and so on and so forth and if any other user joins this room that is on port 3000 or opens another window then he is joined by the name of anonymous that is that is he joins the room anonymously and we see that the total clients have been changed from from two to three and now we can change the name here also so let's say captain america like this and now we can send a message by the name of captain america so hey hulk like this so we see here that hulk receives the message and also black widow receives the message because we are inside a group chat and we also see that who has sent the message that is here we see that this message is sent by captain america as we can see in both the windows so that's what we are going to build and now what is a web socket basically they are an alternative to http communication because in plain http communication what you do you make a request to the server and the server responds back and then that ends the communication that is if the server wants to send something back to the client again then he cannot do so and therefore web sockets come into play because they offer full duplex communication that is it is bidirectional and it means that data can flow in both ways so it can flow from the server to the client and from the client to the server also and this application which you see is built using express and web sockets though we can use the plain web sockets here but we would be using a library called socket.io it is a wrapper around web sockets and it is super easy to use and provides a fallback to xhr request which means that until the web socket connection is established we would be making ajax request to the server to get the latest data from the server so in the very next video let's set up our express application and let's see that how do we display the html that we see inside this chat page here